In the last few years, DevOps has evolved from being just a buzzword to a mainstream practice in the IT world. One of the key roles for implementing a DevOps restructuring is a DevOps engineer. Hello everyone and welcome to this session. Today we'll discuss and learn about DevOps engineers, their demands and their salaries covering everything from why to become a DevOps engineer to the top skills needed to become a DevOps engineer. But before we get started, do subscribe to Edureka's YouTube channel and click the bell button to never miss out any updates from us. If you're interested in learning more about DevOps after watching this session and wish to receive Edureka's DevOps certification course, please check out the link in the description below. Now let's take a brief look at our agenda today. So we'll start by understanding why become a DevOps engineer. Now once we understand that, we will head over to our DevOps engineer's average salary. After which, we'll also look on to the DevOps engineer salary based on experience, based on country, based on company. After all this, we will look on to some of the top skills of a DevOps engineer. At last, we will see some of the top job descriptions provided by the companies and see what are their requirements for a DevOps engineer. Now let's get started with our first topic, why to become a DevOps engineer. Well, it is a known fact that a great DevOps engineer can transform a company. Now let me tell you how. For example, as the organization grows, the procedure changes. And the key role of the DevOps engineer is to automate as much as possible to speed up the work. They ensure that the system is working well and that is being watched and they are able to respond to problems as they develop. Well, I have top 5 reasons to tell you why it is necessary to become a DevOps engineer. We will look on to each one of them respectively. Starting with the demands. Today, every organization needs a DevOps engineer to achieve things in less time than traditional process and in an efficient way. For example, if the development team is working on a Windows environment to develop the modules and the testing team is using a different environment, let's say Linux or Mac, but the production environment is using something else like Ubuntu, then we might see many issues after deploying the product. As the development is being done in one environment, but the testing and the production is being done in the other environments. So in order to solve these kinds of problems, DevOps engineers and tools are required to overcome the situation so that the code will work in any environment. The organizations need DevOps engineers to achieve software development in less time with no more productivity. It is said that the DevOps market is expected to register over 20% gain from 2022 to 2028. That means the adoption of the software development automation technologies, including continuous integration and continuous deployment, that there's nothing but CI CD practices, is likely to fuel the industry growth. It is also said that in the Asian Pacific countries, DevOps engineers would exhibit the highest CAGR of 26.3% during 2021 to 2030. Now, the, our next reason to become a DevOps engineer is the continued learning opportunities. DevOps processes are never completed. For example, when you develop an application, you don't just create an application once and you're done. You make improvements and continue making the application better and better by adding new features, fixing the bugs, issues, etc. It's the same thing with the DevOps process. There are always new things to learn. So you have new tools, new concepts and new solutions that people come up with all the time. And as a DevOps engineer, you need to actually stay up to date and see what new solutions are available to make the process even better. Coming up with our next reason that is impact. As a DevOps engineer, you can have a huge business impact on your company by having good understanding of the whole software development lifecycle and improving and optimizing it. And again, it can be incredibly fulfilling to know that your work has such an impact and eventually affects many people. Our fourth reason to become a DevOps engineer is diverse task. Nowadays, every company is required a DevOps engineer to achieve software development in less time with more productivity. It covers the entire software development lifecycle, essentially optimizing and configuring things for different stages of the software development lifecycle. And because DevOps covers the whole software development lifecycle, 
the set of tasks or the range of tasks is much more diverse and rich in variety. As a DevOps engineer, you can solve different challenges and that in itself is very fulfilling work. Like improving things, optimizing, making things faster, automating, etc. And our last reason to why become a DevOps engineer is the salary. As said before, the demand for DevOps engineers has increased so dramatically over the past few years. Organizations that have implemented DevOps practices are in fact seeing the benefits of high performance and much faster deployments compared to their competitors and logically they are willing to pay high salaries to find DevOps engineers. The Indeed.com, which is a major job platform, had said that there is a 75% increase in DevOps job listing and on LinkedIn, there was 50% of increase in the mentioning of DevOps as a skill. That means DevOps engineers can earn about 20 to 35% more than the software engineers with same experience. Now that we have begun talking about salaries, let's have a complete overview at the DevOps engineer's salary based on experience, areas and other factors. Starting with the DevOps engineer's average salary. According to Glassdoor, the national average salary of a DevOps engineer in India is 7 lakhs per annum. That ranges between 4.4 lakhs per annum to 15 lakhs per annum. Whereas in United States, the national average salary for a DevOps engineer is 1 lakh 10,728 dollars per annum that ranges between $80,000 per annum to $2,000,000 per annum. If we see based on experience, then a DevOps engineer with 2 to 3 years of experience can make approximately 5.7 lakhs per annum. If he or she has 3-4 years of experience, then they can earn 6 lakhs per annum. With 4 to 5 years, they can earn around 12.7 lakhs per annum. A DevOps engineer with 5 plus years of experience on the other hand can earn roughly around 15 lakh per annum. Well, these numbers accurately indicate a bright career as a DevOps engineer. Well, it is a known fact that the people in different countries get different pay for same work. Let's see how much the salary of a DevOps engineer varies based on geography. As discussed before, in India, the salary range of a DevOps engineer is between 4 lakh per annum to 15 lakhs per annum. In United States, it ranges between 80,000 US dollars to 200,000 US dollars. If we talk about in United Kingdom, then there the average salary of a DevOps engineer ranges between 29,000 euros to 67,000 euros which is equal to around 26 lakhs per annum to 67 lakhs per annum. Whereas in UAE, the DevOps engineer salary ranges between 15,000 AD to 54,000 AD, which is around 3 lakhs per annum to 12 lakhs per annum in Indian rupees. In Australia, the average salary range of a DevOps engineer ranges between 130,000 Australian dollars to 150,000 Australian dollars. In Canada, the salary range is between 115,000 Canadian dollars to 156,000 Canadian dollars, which is approximately around 70 lakhs per annum to 90 lakhs per annum in Indian rupees. In Singapore, the average salary range of DevOps engineer ranges between $75,000 to $98,474 per annum. In Germany, it ranges between $24,000 to $1,90,000 per annum. And lastly, in Philippines, the average salary range of a DevOps engineer is between 110,000 Philippine Peso to 180,825 Philippine Peso. So these were the top countries which have a huge demand for DevOps engineers. Now let's go ahead with DevOps engineer salary based on company. According to LinkedIn, there are over 23,000 plus DevOps engineers job openings at the top companies in India. Starting with Tata Consultancy Services, here the DevOps engineer can earn around 4.2 lakhs per annum to 8 lakhs per annum. In Tech Mahindra, the average salary range of a DevOps engineer is between 4.1 lakh per annum to 8 lakhs per annum. 
In Wipro, it is around 3.8 lakhs per annum to 9.5 lakhs per annum. IBM offers around 4.2 lakhs to 11.9 lakhs per annum for a DevOps engineer. Whereas in Accenture, the DevOps engineer can earn around 4.6 lakhs to 10.5 lakhs per annum in India. Capgemini offers 4.5 lakhs to 10.5 lakhs per annum to a DevOps engineer. HCL Technology also offers 4.2 lakhs per annum to 10 lakhs per annum to a DevOps engineer. As companies seek to stay ahead of their competition through DevOps-related technologies, demand for DevOps engineers is surging. As I had said before, that there is a 75% rise in listing of DevOps jobs, and even the DevOps skills have increased to 15%. Now, based on 14,000 plus jobs, the most in-demanding skills required to become a DevOps engineer are as follows. First is programming knowledge and Linux fundamentals. To become a DevOps engineer, there are several programming languages you need to learn in addition to specific DevOps tools. But there are three most common languages used in DevOps tools that are Ruby, Python, and JavaScript. It's advisable to learn at least one of these programming languages so as to work with the DevOps tools. DevOps engineers must also be know about some of the fundamentals of operating system. Linux is preferably the most important operating system that is required in DevOps. So it has been counted as a one of the top skills in DevOps. Next is source code management. Well, source code management is a DevOps automation tool that maintains a track of versions made on the program. So you must know some of the SEM tools in order to run the history of changes in a particular code and uh, to check the different versions, compare them and then merge them. Next is application building. Well, the application building in DevOps is nothing but a process of planning, designing, creating, testing and deploying a software application in order to perform various business operations. So you must be familiar with the whole phases of the software development that is the top skills required as a DevOps engineer. You must also be familiar with some of the automation tools and the CI CD tools. So automation tools allow you to outsource repetitive functions to automate that particular program. So you must know how to automate things like everything should be automated. You, you should know like where to automate the thing or which process can be automated and in order to make the process faster. And the CI CD approaches help you consistently make minor improvements in the IT infrastructure. So you should be familiar with some of the best CI CD tools. Next is application testing. Here, you need to track the day to day running of IT infrastructure through testing. So you need to identify areas of inefficiency in the system and mitigate potential issues before they arise. So here you check the relevance, representativeness, equity, repeatability, cost effectiveness, scalability, and transparency. Next is application deployment. The application deployment is all about the process of installing, configuring, updating, and enabling one application or a group of applications that make a software system available for use. You facilitate a particular URL on a server and deploy that particular application. So you should know how to deploy a particular application. Next is monitoring application. So as a DevOps engineer, you should know how to constantly track software and system to help resolve system errors quickly. As DevOps engineers, it is specifically concerned with reducing the length of time between when the error was detected and when it has been fixed. So this one is one of the top skills which is required as a DevOps engineer. Therefore, in order to bring the productivity and making it more time efficient and cost effective, it is an important task to monitor and to solve the particular errors in that particular software. Next is cloud providers. Well, we all know the top three cloud platforms, Azure, GCP, AWS. 
so you must be familiar with any of one of those clouds while you are working with devops because when you have deployed a particular software or an application you have need to have a backup or storage as a devops engineer you should know how to integrate cloud with that particular application so these were the top skills for a devops engineer now as we discuss these top skills now let us see some of the top job descriptions from a top companies and let's see what are their requirements for a devops engineer so this is a requirement from hcl technology they require a devops engineer and their must know skill as you can see here is they should have an experience in devops infrastructure and then you must be expertized with hosting tools configuration management tools like ansible terraform chef puppet so these are the different tools of devops which uh, are necessary while the whole process software development process runs then you should also have a uh, strong problem solving skills and ability to write scripts and scripting languages you should also be familiar with different programming languages like python go powershell scripting java and many more and you should also be familiar with different environments like windows and linux so linux is more preferred in while you are working with devops let us look on to another job description so this is from wipro limited they are in demand for a devops engineer so as a devops engineer you should know about the ci cd tools as uh, specified and you should know how to plan and execute the devops pipeline that is how to like the whole process of the software development that planning coding building testing and staging releasing and configuration and all the monitoring of that particular application so these things you must be familiar with then you should also know how to manage the id infrastructure as per the requirement then you must know the devops tools and some of the automation tools you should also know how to use tools to automate testing and deploy in the devops environment so these were the top skills as we discussed above and you can also see in these job descriptions so top companies are in huge demand for these devops engineers and with these skills it is sure sure that you will be hired as a successful devops engineer so this was all from my end i hope you like the session and if you wish to or you have already made up your mind starting your career in devops then do check out the link given below in the description you can go through our courses and if you have any doubts any clarification you can then please comment in the comment section until then happy learning i hope you have enjoyed listening to this video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to edureka channel to learn more Happy learning.